Oh gosh. To build muscle, you have to eat. We're here with Robert Cheek and we're gonna go inside seat and get some food. We have the most important person in the history of vegan bodybuilding here, Robert Cheek. Like, what's the basic science here of building the muscle? Okay, first you have to do some sort of resistance training to stimulate muscle growth. You have to create micro tears in muscle fibers. One thing you have to remember, we have 1,440 minutes in a day. We're only asking for 40 minutes. Top of your oatmeal. No, I don't want or need the extra sugar. What I'm going to get is the natural sugar from the fruit. I've got my complex carbohydrate oatmeal, long lasting energy, my quick energy. And this is one of the best things you can eat before a workout. You get this at Starbucks. You, you do sometimes. Everybody's like, what snack do I eat? Well, fruit. You have to get over the fact that there's other fruits besides apples, bananas, and oranges. Recently, I had 19 different fruits at home. Hey. You know a good date with your boyfriend that you're trying to get to watch this video? Let's go to a farmer's market and pick out some fruit together. Oh. Go hit the gym. All right, time to burn these calories off. Everyone says I eat healthy food all the time. No, they don't. I'm absolutely convinced of it. Yeah, people have a different concept of what's healthy. And we only want to remember the good things that we do. I call it plate amnesia. We don't want to think about the junk food we ate. So we remember the times we had a salad, even if it was back in October. They're like, hey, I gained the weight on the vegan diet. And I'm just like, just take a picture of all your food and email it to me. A week goes by, I don't get any emails. I'm like, why didn't I get any pictures? And they're like, when I took the picture, I looked at it and I saw like all this fat all over and I knew you wouldn't want to see it. That's not your fault that you're not doing what you think you're doing. We're here to help make it easier, simple, efficient, we, cheap. We just have to change behaviors to develop new habits which lead to new outcomes. We're competing against McDonald's, Burger King, Domino's Pizza, Taco Bell. This is trying to take your money, steal your life, and feed you crap food and get you addicted. My point is that losing weight shouldn't be that hard. Building muscle shouldn't be that hard. Being healthy shouldn't be that hard. All it is is consistent, positive behavior. And no one's more consistent than I am. I've done over 100 push-ups and crunches per day for almost 900 consecutive days. So how can somebody get consistent like that? I mean, obviously just do it. You have to have a reason why. I want to achieve results. I want to be able to lead a positive example. I want to be strong and fit. I want to save animal lives. Things matter to me, and so I put in the work. Condense that down into something somebody watching this right now can implement. You want to bulk up, Tomorrow, you wake up. No, no, no. Today, not tomorrow. Right? Listen, here's why. Every yeah. single day that we delay taking action on something that we claim to care about, we delay that end result. What but should they be doing ever... while they're watching this video? Drop right now and give me 20. You heard it. <laughs> yeah, I, it's not that I do them all at once. I do sets of 20, 25, 30, or 15, or 10, depends on how fatigued I am. So maybe 20 push-ups per YouTube video, and when can they see results? I mean, you do 20 push-ups today. You do 25 tomorrow, 30 the next day, 40 the next day. With something simple with push-ups, do you need to rest one day out of the week? Do you have to rest because you walk too many stairs? No. Nope. I mean, that's the thing. We're, we're looking for excuses to justify behavior. It's like walking up a flight of stairs. It is. Exactly. That's the thing that I try to communicate to people. <laughs> yeah. It's just an added stress that your body naturally adapts to over time. So that adaptation say, is bigger muscle. Listen, you build, <laughs> you're going to build arms, shoulders, chest, your core. You're going to strengthen all these areas. But most importantly, I think it's up here. The psychological strength. You know what? I do that every single day. I do it so I can power through my real workouts. My hour long workouts, my hour and a half long weight training workouts. The How days often do you do those? About five or six days a week. And this is no Just. matter what diet you're eating. And we're here to tell you why this diet is the best. Highest net gain overall nutrition return on investment. You're not wasting any money on any powders or supplements or anything, that's none of it. So eat the food, and the this most is, this vitamins, is minerals, antioxidants, uh, phytonutrients, water, fiber, nitric oxide, all of these things, essential fats. And this is all inexpensive. Amino this acids. is yeah. not expensive food. Yeah, we're, ta we're talking about oats You're gonna and save rice money. and leafy greens and fruits of all types and lentils and beans and quinoa. Your muscles are literally made out of oats and fruits and grains. Absolutely. Oh, that's what the gladiators say. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
a living gladiator right here. <laughs> I've put on about 30 pounds over the past year, about 12 months. I guarantee anybody watching this right now is like, I want 30 pounds of muscle. <laughs> ASAP, yeah. like how I can I get my I, I've actually done it numerous <laughs> times. From absolute consistency yeah. and documentation. And then maintenance for this 30 pounds of muscle, like what's that involved? Like? It means eating sufficient yeah. calories and getting sufficient exercise. And because I'm eating whole foods, I stay in great shape. I'm not putting on a lot of fat. And, and the guy's like, oh, I went vegan and I've lost all the strength. Like, well, what do you got to say to that? That's my dad. He went vegan for like almost a year. He said, oh, I just lost so much muscle. I was so weak. I've been hearing this for 20 years and here's why. Animal foods tend to contain about 15 to 3,000 calories per pound. Most plant foods, two to 500 calories per pound. We're used to eating 3,000, 4,000 calories a day without knowing it. Excess caloric consumption of processed foods, animal-based foods, oils, junk foods, it compounds and adds all this body weight. We have to pick the staples. We have to pick potatoes and lentils and beans and brown rice and oats. These things have to be the core or the centerpiece of either a breakfast, a lunch, a dinner, a post-workout meal, or else what we do, if we say, yeah, I'm just gonna eat salads all day long, well, then we're not gonna get enough calories. And then what happens is we go from eating 3,800 calories a day to 2,300 calories a day and say, why did I lose muscle or why did I lose weight? What's the best place to get this like meal plan so they can't screw it up? Yeah, well my new book, Shred It. Shred It. Shred It. Shred It. Shred It. You can bodybuilding.com. What a good Valentine's Day present <laughs> for your boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> no, I spent, I spent years writing it and I got it endorsed by some of the, the absolute best in wow. the business. Dr. Esselstyn, Campbell, uh, Rich Roll, Brian Wendell, Rip Esselstyn, the people who get it live the results. And is, you got recipes in there? Absolutely. 75 whole food plant-based recipes. 75 no oil, recipes. No, no oil, no processed food. That's Holy how Cow. That's why Campbell and Esselstyn got behind it. So we're talking like whole oh, starch, <laughs> low fat. We are. Yeah, we are. We are. We are. <laughs> I mean, absolutely it works because it's based on science. We go deep with the book because if you don't care about your fitness goals, you're not going to do it. When I get home, I'm going to go answer about 20 Tumblr questions with a link to this book. I've got a companion book. You tell me you work out all the time? Yeah. Let me see. Show Let me, me see it. Yeah. Show me. Okay, bowl of oatmeal plus three bananas. Okay. <laughs> Cardio workout, 45 minute walk with the dog this morning. Hi. I go on 45 <laughs> minutes walk with my wife. Every day. If I wasn't honest with you guys, I wouldn't be, you know, 200 pounds yep. and really, really strong. I just put up 315 pound decline bench press. Most people watching this can't do anything close to that. And that's because I do this kind of stuff every day. Live the proof, spread the truth. You know what younger people want to hear, 13 weeks, what am I going to see? I'll tell you, when I first really got into lifting weight, I gained uh, 19 pounds in 12 weeks. 20 and I, pounds? Yeah, in three months. That's all. Because Somebody out there watching this, I want you to vlog this 13 weeks. I want you to hit it every day, make it happen, and share this with everyone. That's our thing, make it happen. Yeah. I want to show people is that you can get fit anywhere anytime just use the body mechanics around you. you do some push-ups do some squats do some lunges but also if you just have dumbbells and barbells that's all you need you don't actually need fancy equipment I'm gonna grab some dumbbells and show a whole variety of exercises for biceps for triceps for shoulders for back there's so much you can do you're getting everything you need to know right here in this video spin the wrist there Up, kick back. Keep the elbow stationary. Extend back and do lateral raises. Overhead press for shoulders. And how many reps does somebody do? You know, general rule is about eight to twelve. Eight to twelve. Obviously, the more reps, the more endurance training, and the, and the lower reps, the more strength. I mix it up and I talk about the benefits of all that in my book. Do rows for back. Pretty lightweight, but just show. Just row back. All right, you lift some heavyweight now? Yeah, let's do it. That's a warm-up, right? This is a great exercise for the chest, but it's these power exercises, these compound multi-joint lifts that really stimulate muscle growth. So we have a couple questions from our viewers. Thank the number one question from our viewers, how do you convince my meat-eating boyfriend to go vegan? Yeah! <laughs> you want your boyfriend to go vegan and be a, a muscle guy. Well, look to the vegan bodybuilders that are out there. You have to have a reason to go vegan in the first place. For me, I got into it for animal rights reasons. That's what compelled me. I no longer wanted to contribute to animal suffering and cruelty. I was a 120-pound, 15-year-old kid. I had no business in bodybuilding. The moment I got into bodybuilding, 
everyone laughed at me. There was no expectation for me to succeed. I worked really hard. I knew what I was supposed to do, and I gained 75 pounds of muscle over a short period of time, won multiple bodybuilding competitions, and led by example so that other people could do the same. As it turns out, a plant-based diet is the best way to do that. It's the most nutrient-dense diet, has the highest net gain return on investment nutritionally, so you want the fastest recovery, you want the most energy, you want the healthiest approach, then that is the way to go. I know a lot of bodybuilders are like, yeah, they look great when they're 20 and 30 and even 40, but then they kind of fizzle out because they have all these issues and from all those protein shakes. And it's forever. Like, Robert could look like this till 100. Are you serious? <laughs> well, you brought up a, an interesting point. You don't need things like protein drinks. Nobody does. None of us have ever met anybody with a clinical protein deficiency without a calorie deficiency or eating disorder attached to it. You get enough calories, you get enough protein. Even as a weightlifter, I actually follow what is considered a low protein diet. And I gained 30 pounds in one year and I'm stronger than I've ever been. Why are people so confused about protein? Because it is the most popular topic that is presented, promoted, perpetuated, that you have to have a ton of protein. More is better. You want to build muscle. More is not better. Excess protein intake can have an adverse effect on kidneys, liver, bone density, energy levels and a whole host of other baggage that comes with it because so, high protein foods often have cholesterol, saturated fat, excess calories, they're void of the really important micronutrients. If someone's really pushing a lot of protein on you, they're either trying to sell you something or they just haven't caught up to speed with the real health issues associated with excess protein intake. So the simple answer is the proteins in the food that we're advocating you eat. What are you going to eat after your workout here? So I eat fruit first, I drink water, and then I eat like brown rice and beans and lentils and an avocado and tomato and lettuce, you know, kind of burrito type stuff. I go back to one of my favorite all-time foods and I go with potatoes or yams oh, yeah. or sweet potatoes. Right. I just want to make it clear that you can build muscle size and strength and have great performance on a low protein diet. And if you're trying to do 200 push-ups a day on a block of protein, you're probably screwed. I mean, I, don't, I mean, how could you even have energy to well, do that? Well, a lot that? of our bodybuilder friends, they can't even make it up the hill with us. We take people on hikes and the bigger the guy, the less likely is to make it to the top it's of the so hill. Crazy. <laughs> do you have your book with you? I actually do. I have one guy. I need it. Are I'm you actually, vegan? I am vegan. Yeah, what's your name? Oh, oh. Michael. Michael. I see yes. you, man. Yeah, yeah. I can't believe it that I actually met you. So you're, you're a national coach and you're a uh, Olympian as well? Yeah, I am a Olympian. I competed for Poland. Yeah. I came second and then moved to Canada. I'm coaching national team. And then two years ago, my entire family decided we're gonna stop eating meat for many, many reasons. And I was surprised how much I feel better. Yeah. And then I tried to find some resources about if it's okay without the meat to produce best athletes in the world. You're the one who promote this. And, and I also, I like the, the tough music, so the climax <laughs> goes very well along. You're an Olympic coach. I, I'm coaching Canadian uh, Olympic team. I, go, I will go to Rio uh, with uh, the boys. The advantages of this plant-based diet do you think that like anybody could win a gold medal yeah. being vegan? Already, it's already proven that the uh, track and field... Uh, Started with Carl Lewis, right? Yes, and he was the yes, yes, he was. He was early, he, and he was my favorite runner before I even knew he was vegan. He was my favorite athlete, and when I learned he was vegan, that made it even better. So, I believe, yes. So there I you mean. have it. You want to win the gold? Go vegan, get some shredded. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> we well, can't thank you enough, Robert, for helping everybody out there get ripped while eating a healthy vegan diet. What did we learn today, Kristen? That you can look like this eating full food. No supplements, nothing. A whole food plant-based diet. So eat enough, be consistent, learn from Robert. <laughs> and follow your passion and make it happen. And if you want your boyfriend to look like this in 13 weeks, get him shredded. <laughs>